parents are out of town. We're gonna get you laid this weekend. Man, I don't see where you get the idea that I've got trouble getting girls. Cause you're never around any. I'm your best friend. I'm with you all the time. The other guys at school are starting to wonder. Man, I'm not gay. Whatever happened to bros before hoes? <sighs> That's just silly. We all gotta deal with the opposite sex at some time. <sighs> you're tripping, man. I don't dog you with this. Cause I got a girl. Yeah, you got a girl. That's right. Well, it'll happen when I make it feel. You know, when I feel like making it happen. You think you're used to some shit? I don't slip at the girls while they sleep, man. Hey, chill. I'm just saying. You want something, you gotta go out and get it. What if I don't want to? Yeah, I'm gonna write back to the gay question. Man, I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm gonna beat your ass if you don't show up tonight. And why is it that you always think that something's gonna happen to these big parties, man? This is real life. You need to get your head out of this chip. Well, I'm determined to get you some tonight. I need a thigh relief. Hey, are you Reg? Yeah. Ask for me to be looking for you. Come on down to the party. Yeah. Come on down. Okay. Don't be scared. Come on. Come on down. Come on. expecting to hear from you tonight. Hey son, I forgot to remind you about sending those response letters to Harvard. <sighs> I know, I know. That's all you ever talk about. Ashton, this is important. You have it so easy. When I went to Harvard, I didn't have a pot to piss in. And there was even less diversity. You're the one who's going to make us a legacy. You should yeah. want to... Yeah, definitely. I'll get around to it. Get around to it tomorrow. I'll check in then. But for now, I gotta go, okay? Okay. Alright. Hi, Mrs. Walker. Um, Mr. Walker told me that there was a note left here for me and that I could come and pick it up today. Of course he did. Please, come in. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry for your loss. Mm. It's a shame. You could write a letter to you, but not to Harvard. I'm sorry, what? I didn't say anything. Let me gonna go ahead and go. Thank you for letting me come pick this up. Like I'm losing it. I felt like I could hear what she was thinking, but different words were coming out of her mouth. 
It's perfectly natural to experience something like this so soon after your friend's suicide. It's a touchy issue that leads most to either be sympathetic and others to accusing that person of being selfish. Well, I can't decide on either until I find out why. You know, why now? Why so sudden? He left a note addressed to you. Have you read it yet? No, I just picked up this morning. Hmm. You should read it. Perhaps it'll give you the clues you're hoping for or provide closure. What's going on? You don't take ideas. How are you feeling? Well, I've gone from being sad to just sort of angry, you know? Yeah, and... How are you holding up? Um, it just, just hurts. I just miss him. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go. Are you just gonna sit past? Yeah, I think so. Okay, well, let me know what you need. Okay. Alright. Dear Reg, I get straight A's, I got into Harvard like my dad always wanted, and I got a beautiful girl. I have everything, but the weight of it finally is too much. Some days I struggle to feel anything about anything. I had no joy for any of it. Dad is almost never there, but when he is around, it's to tell me about how important it is to become a Harvard legacy in our family. Tyler wants that too. She already started talking about marriage and going to Boston College to be with me. And there's you. You need an identity of your own. I've had a hard time trying to live for me, and so everyone does for me. And if I ever didn't want anything, it's that I needed relief. And so do all of you. Ash. Reginald, what can I do for you? You should read this. I want it all. I love it all. Uh, I got it all. Yeah. I want the money, the fame. I want it all. Got love for the game. Snapbacks and fitted that life do you really 